Hey, what's going on out there? YouTube family, this is Sammy Lake here representing Team JVS. I told you guys, I told you guys I'm not stopping. We're not stopping. It ain't the new year yet. And I'm going to be giving you guys two back-to-back -back, uh, reviews for some animated films um, very soon. The first one up is Vivo. This is a Sony uh, Sony Animated Pictures film. Um, Sony, matter of fact, this is their second one because uh, they did uh, The Mitchells versus The Machines, which is amazing. Definitely going to get nominated. And Vivo, after I've watched it, I finally feel like it should get nominated. Like, not only to me does it have one of the strongest bar-to-bar -bar soundtracks. Like, the score is great, but the soundtracks and the authentically new songs, like, these are not, these, these came out of nowhere. And every single one of them were executed perfectly to the point that much like Hamilton like these songs are on repeat in my home and so this movie I may be biased on this review so just take this with a grain of salt but uh this was directed by Kurt D'Amico uh, as well as co-directed uh by Brandon uh Jeffords um this is starring and the music done by Lynn manuel um this has got Brian Ty Henry in it this has got Zoe uh Zaldana um who else brian well yeah gloria estefan uh michael rooker uh the list goes on and on and matter of fact a new timer and uh i want to make sure i get her name correct uh yanarly simo um she she plays the role of gabby and this is her first role ever she's only 14 years old and she crushed it she get her more work like whatever you do and this is the thing about lynn i just want to say this before i even go into the, the depths of this movie because i really did love the movie i really did like i, I really love vivo um he might be the artist of the year and i don't mean the actor of the year i mean the artist of the year this man has directed tick tick boom right he did the music for Encanto. He did the music for this and starred in it. Um, he did Into the Heights from his play, did it on a live action format. And it's just like, this man has been putting in work. This may be, to me, Lynn, I would nominate him. I might, I might even do a whole other video just off of those premise alone, that he might be the artist of the year. So Vivo is this, uh, Kinkachu? Is that is Kakachu? Kinkachu? I don't even know <laughs> if I'm saying it right. A Kinkachu. Kinkachu. I think that's the correct pronunciation. And um, he has been taken under the wing by Andres. And Andres lives in Puerto Rico. And Andres is a musician. And he teaches this lone, young little Kinkachu everything he knows. And they have this beautiful friendship. And they go out, you know, to the villa or a different location and just sing and perform and you know one day andres sees something that reminds him of his lost love and marta and a song that he wrote for her that she never got to hear and and from that point that takes vivo without spoiling thing on this excursion to try to allow andrea's dream and in reconnection with marta to be a reality the songs and this are beautiful. Matter of fact, I, I put the songs on repeat, but I always feel this wellingness of of, of uh, emotion. Like sometimes it's sadness, sometimes it's joy. Um, like there's so many good songs in this and they're sung and executed so well. Like the fact you got Brian Ty Henry as a, as a, as a bird you know, belting out some great lyrics. You know you're doing your thing. But honestly, Gabby might have the best song. I don't even want to spoil it. But you're just going to bounce to the beat. That's all I'm going to say. Um, the animation is really good. Um, I think that um, the Mitchells versus the Machines may be a little bit better. And I'm not sure if that's because Kirk, or is it Brandon, uh, is associated with the Crods. Uh, no, no, it's Brandon that's associated with the Mitchell's vs. Machine, and I think Kirk was the one that was associated with The Cries, which was nominated for an Oscar. So I think the animation is there. It all works. It all is fluid. Um, the story, it is, it, 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 the outline of it is very cookie cutter, but the emotion and the rawness of the capturing of what's really happening, the devotion that Vivo has 
the the understanding that he has of music, the passion and the burning understanding of composition that Andreas has allowed him to have, it really does, you know, allow the flow of the movie to just take on a different form of life. And I think that they have said that this is the first time ever a musical adventure animation's ever been done. And it's crazy because I feel like if it wasn't if it wasn't the time of uh, a pandemic, honestly, I think Vivo would have been a hit in the theaters. I think people would have been rocking out. I don't know how many people actually looked at Vivo when it came out on Netflix, but it is available now on Netflix. And if you have not seen Vivo yet, please go and check out Vivo. Um, I will be doing another review on something very similar that was also associated with Lin-Manuel because I have not done a review for it personally. And I'm talking about Encanto. I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But Vivo ended up becoming one of my favorite films this year. Out of nowhere. And, and, and it's all based on the music. But it's all rawness and emotion that's being brought out from what's happening in the context of the story as well. So if you get the chance, go and check out Vivo. I'd rate this at a 9 out of 10. I really did enjoy Vivo. I'll talk to you guys soon. Keep it locked. JVS Wing will stop. Peace, guys.